Hey guys, my name is Lewis with premiumbeat.com and today we're going to have a look at creating a submix inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. When you've completed your edit and set the levels for your individual audio clips and tracks, you can take your audio to the mixing page to further refine your audio mix. And one way of simplifying the process is with a submix. Submixes simply combine multiple tracks into a single channel strip to be mixed. So why do this? Why not adjust the levels on the track and the clip itself? Well, let's use the example that I have on screen. We have two characters speaking in the scene, so I have two dialogue tracks. And as you can see here, I have three other tracks for different sound effects. So the noise of the patrons at the restaurant, plates clattering, your footstep, and I think there's a champagne pop in there somewhere. So that's three different tracks and several various clips that I'm gonna to have to continually adjust if I feel like something's a little bit too loud after the initial playback. So if I want to slightly increase the dialogue at any given moment, or perhaps lower all of the sound effects by a few decibels, it's gonna be easier to do that with a submix. Now, this is how you can do that in Resolve 14. With your edit complete, jump from the edit page to the Fairlight page. And at the top menu, we're gonna select Fairlight Bus Format and open the Bus Format window. This window is where we will be creating our buses to later assign the tracks. The submix will be one of these, and we're going to add the submix by selecting sub, of course. And the first subtrack is going to be for our dialogue. So I'm going to change the name to dialogue. We have a main channel here, but that is always going to be present and obviously cannot be removed. And I'm going to create another mix for the sound effects. And I'm going to change the color of these mixes to something a little bit different from the main channel, just so we have a visual identifier of what we're working with. Our submixes are now set up, and we have to assign the audio tracks to the correct mix. So click OK, and we're going to go back up to the Fairlight top menu and select Bus Assign. This will open another pop-up, and at the top, along with our main channel, we have our two newly created buses. And underneath, we have the available tracks that we can assign to our buses. Now, to assign the tracks to the correct bus, we have to first activate the bus, and we do so by clicking on B1 or B2. Now, I will say, I don't think Resolve does an excellent job of identifying which bus you are working on. If you can see it on your screen from home, the main channel and the second bus are slightly grayed out. But when you're working with multiple buses, um, perhaps a highlight or a stroke effect would be better. Perhaps in a future update, we'll see that. So now I'm on B1 dialogue, and all I'm going to do is select man and stranger because they are my dialogue tracks. And then I'm going to jump up to the sound effects bus and select restaurant, plates, and footsteps. And once you have assigned a track, you can see that the tracks will have the bus numbers after the main channel, B1, B2, and so forth. Hit save, and we are now ready to play with our submixes. Now when we return to the Fairlight page and go to the mixer, side note, if your mixer isn't viewable, you just hit this mixer button, we can see that along with our main channel, we now have our two submixes. So when we play back our edit, we can properly adjust multiple tracks at any given time to get the best audio mix. And even when we jump over to the edit page, you can see that these submixes also follow through to the mixer panel here. And I, I actually didn't know that until I was recording this tutorial. So Resolve, the gift that keeps on giving. And that's how you create a submix in Resolve. It's fairly easy, perhaps. I would say so once you get the hang of it. The Fairlight page does look daunting. And I would say the Fairlight page is definitely an incredible addition to Resolve. And I'm sure you're going to see many more articles on that feature from Premium Beat over the coming months, because it's not just an additional plugin to the software or a fancy UI update. It is a giant in its own right. And you can find more Resolve tips and tutorials on premiumbeat.com forward slash blog. Any sound effects and music used throughout this tutorial, you can license on premiumbeat.com. I'm Lewis and I will catch you again soon with another tutorial.